belated Shalane sentiment after her win at the marathon. Um, it just feels really good to work really hard and then take a risk and have it pay off. So, yeah. Did it mean more after your second place at Milrose? I think it did. I mean, I if you can see the difference in how I ran tonight versus how I ran at Milrose, um, I was much more tentative off the line uh, at Milrose and just feeling like not really sure of myself at the beginning of the race and I kind of found my confidence um, as I went on. But tonight I just felt like I'm going straight to the front and I, as soon as I felt like I can go, I just like went for it. So, yeah, it feels good to just feel more in control and more like myself. Do you like the track? I love the track. Right, <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. It's, it's a great track. <laughs> it's good memories. I would love to have it back here. <laughs> Yeah, everyone thinks it's Shelby is the miler in the group. I mean, you did win Milrose last year, but what does that mean to beat her? Beat her? At? Yeah, uh, she's won eight in a row too. I don't know that I've ever beat Shelby. Uh, I think she is. I mean, she's very dominant in plethora of events, um, anywhere from the 5K to 800. Um, she can run anything. Uh, would hate to see her start in the steeplechase because I'd have another person to worry about. Uh, she's a she's an amazing athlete. Obviously, she's a time. US champion, so I knew she was going to be the one to beat out there. Um, my tactic was basically don't leave it to the last hundred because you don't stand a chance. So um, you got to get her before that and try and even preferably I was hoping to put distance on her before she got to start kicking. Um, I know if she kind of gets the jump on me with that last kick, I have a good kick too, but if she has to jump on me, there's no way I'm going to get her. So that was the plan. Is is don't leave us to the last hundred. Does Jerry give you instructions before the race, or how does that work? Or yeah, you guys get individual he's, instructions? Yeah, he talks to us separately. Um, gives us each kind of instructions on how to have our individual best race. Uh, it gets a little tricky when you have you know, yeah, it's three horses in the race. Right? He's telling you how to beat her and her how to beat you. <laughs> exactly. Um, but that's just how it is. And um, he would tell me the same advice that he told me if he wasn't coaching Shelby and vice versa. So. Are you still doing the two mile? I'm in the slow heat of the two mile tomorrow unless they change their minds. So no, I'm not going to run on the slow heat. Yeah. Well, they should have an automatic for the winner of the mile, right? Well, yeah. Shelby got in automatically because of her win last year. So um, yeah. Maybe next they put you in the fast seat, would you run it? I would run it if they put me in the fast seat. Oh, they gotta put you in there. Maybe they're, well, maybe, I'd like to. I, maybe they're, they're watching. Uh -oh. It's always Jerry's call. Uh -oh. I would like to run it if they put me in the fast seat and that was our plan. As long as my body feels good and like I really no, no like injuries, then I was able I was gonna run it. But um yeah, I don't wanna run it out of this way. Is this your first track title? Sorry? Have you won a track title before? I've never won a single US title before. It's my wow. first one. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, like the celebration at the end, was it your just winning the race, winning a national title, beating Shelby. Beating Shelby all, was oh, <laughs> kind of exciting. Yeah. No, I mean, I was going into the race thinking, like, I've never won a U.S. title, and you never know when that's going to happen, and, you know, maybe Shelby's going to have an off day, and I can't just, like, wait around, you know, and kind of waste an opportunity, so I always said, if, you know, if the opportunity is there, then whatever, you know, happens, I have to just seize the day, so that's what I tried to do. Just Great do a job. thumbs up pick. There we go. One, two, three. <laughs> What's next? Cool. Um, probably takes a little time off now. A little lull before we start gearing up for a big outdoor season. Long outdoor season. Yeah, because you, you only got the steeple like once last year or twice? I ran it twice last year. Um, once at, at Monaco uh, and then I ran again in Berlin. They were pretty good, right? They were okay, yeah. My Berlin uh, race is a PR by like five seconds or in 910. Um, I got injured in the beginning of the summer, and so I didn't get to run a lot of the Diamond Lakes that I wanted to, and so I didn't get picked up making the final. So I didn't get to run in that really competitive steeple, and I ended up kind of running by myself in Berlin. So I don't, I still think I had at least another, you know, five seconds in me if I had competition. So I hope to stay healthy this year. Not probably some more time. Yeah, with the success you've had on the shorter distance, and I mean, you've seen what Courtney's done. Does that give you a lot of confidence for those people? Yeah, you know, Courtney and I train together every day. Um, if I can stay healthy and continue to um, kind of build my strength and be able to actually get to the start line of races, being healthy, I think I have at least 10 more seconds left in me, um, somewhere in there. I just, yeah, my, my battle with my health continues to feel like that's a thing that's setting me back um, from breaking that barrier. Well, you didn't seem terribly happy with the Wanamaker Mile or Milrose. Did that sort of, have you been motivated for two weeks to really sort of adjust your mindset and go in with a little bit different, you know, yeah. feeling? You know, um, Milrose was, I 
was like kind of bittersweet. I PR by two seconds, but going back as the reigning champion, you know, defending champion, I wanted to win again, and so I got beat pretty soundly there. Um, and you know, in my mind, I didn't execute the race that I didn't execute the race plan that my coach had set out for me. So it would have been one thing I think if I had felt like I gave it my best and. I did everything I was supposed to, and it just wasn't my day. I felt like I had more running left in me, and that's always frustrating to cross the line, feeling like I didn't do it right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was definitely fuel for the fire for this weekend. And I raced much differently uh, tonight than I did at Melrose, so just trying to prove to myself that I can do that, and I, you know, I want to do that better. Um, but yeah, it's always a little disappointing to come away with second place.